Sa ating mga nakaraang video, ating napag-aralan kung paano ang tamang pagkuha ng factors at multiples ng isang given na number. Ngayon naman, sa video ito, magsosolve tayo ng mga word problem related sa factors and multiples. Let's start with the first problem. What is the fifth multiple of 7? To find the fifth multiple of 7, ililist down lang natin ang multiples ng 7 na makalimang beses or 5 times. Multiple of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and so on and so forth. Now, pag nakalimutan naman natin na pagkuha ng multiple of 7, uh, meron naman tayong ginagamit na multiplication table chart na kung saan ay makikita natin doon ang uh, multiples ng lahat ng mga number. Since ang multiplication table charts ay nagko-contain ng mga multiples. Katulad ng multiple ng 7. So we have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and so on and so forth. So then therefore, we can say then that the fifth multiple of 7 is 35. Now, there's another way to shorten the solution. Just simply uh, multiply 7 by 5, and that is equal to 35. What is the sum of the fifth and the ninth multiple of 8? Now, to solve this problem, instead of using or listing down all the fifth and the ninth multiple of 8, we will make use of the short method by just simply multiplying 8 by 5, multiplying 8 by 9, and then adding the result, and you will get the sum. So, the fifth multiple of 8 is equal to 8 times 5 and we have 40 and the uh, ninth multiple of 8 that's equivalent to 8 times 9 and that's equal to 72 and then adding the result and you will get the sum of the fifth and the ninth multiple of 8 which is equal to 112 okay for the third problem 8 times of 12 multiple of 7 is So sa problem na to, ang gagawin natin dito ay ita-translate natin ang word statement into arithmetic equation. So 8, the word 8 is happens to be the number 8 and then the times we have the we have the multiplication sign here which is the bracket. And then 12 multiple of 7 so we multiply 7 by 12. 7 times 12. And 7 times 12, the product would be 84. And times 8, and the value would be 672. What are the multiples of 8 between 30 and 70? So what we will do first is to list down all the uh, multiples of 8. So the multiple of multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. And then what are the numbers between 30 and 70? So numbers between 30 and 70 are the following. 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64. So then therefore, the answer is... 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. For number 5, what multiple of 7 is equal to 15? All you need to do first is just simply multiply 7 by 15. And we have this answer, which is equal to 105. What number is in between 23 and 39 which is a multiple of 4 and 9? So ano unang gagawin natin dito ay ililist down natin lahat ng multiple ng 4 at 9. So let's start with the multiple of 4. So these are the multiples of 4. 4, 2 hanggang 40 lang ginawa natin dito. And then next, yung multiples naman ng 9. So the multiples of 9 are the following from 9 to 90, the first 10 multiples of 9. Now, it says here in the problem 
na hinahanap natin ay yung number between 23 and 39 na multiple naman siya ng 4 and 9. So, sa multiple ng 4 and 9, ano yung number between 23 and 39? So, ang number between 23 and 39 are the following. So, 24, 28, 32, and 36 between 23 and 39. Sa multiples of 9, ano naman yung number between 23 and 39? So, between 23 and 39 is 27 and 36. Now, sa problem ay hinahanap ano yung number between 23 na multiple ng 4 and 9. So, ano yung magkapareho dito sa multiples ng 4 at 9 o yung common so yung 36 so ang sagot natin ay the answer is 36 what number is in between 20 and 30 which is a factor of 54 so ang unang gagawin natin dito ay ililist down natin lahat ng factors ng 54 okay So, let's start with uh, dividing 54 by by 1. So, 54 divided by 1. So, the answer is 54. 54 divided by 2. So, the answer is 27. 54 divided by 3. The resulting value is 18. 54 divided by 4. Cannot be. Magkakaroon ng remainder. 54 divided by 5. Meron ding remainder. 54 divided by 6. It happens to be exactly 9. Okay? So, sa problem na ito, sinasabi na ang number na hinahanap natin ay between 20 and 30. So, what are the numbers between 20 and 30? It happens to be 27. Between 20 and 30. So, the answer is 27. The 100 multiple of 7 is just simply multiply 7 by 100. So that is 7 times 100. The resulting answer is 700. A multiple of 5 and 7 greater than 32 but less than 48. So ang unang natin gagawin dito ay ililist down natin lahat ng multiple ng 5 at 7. So, let's start with the multiples of 5. So, the multiples of 5 are the following. So, 5 up to 50 lang ang in-indicate ko dito. And then, for the multiples of 7, we have the following set. 7 up to 70. Now, sa problem, ang inahanap ay multiple daw ng 5 and 7 na greater than 32 but less than 48. So, sa multiples of 5, ano yung number na greater than 32 but less than 48? So, these are the number greater than 32 but less than 48. 35, 40, 45. Now, sa multiples of 7, ano yung number na greater than 32 but less than 48? So, 35 and 42. So, ano yung multiples of 5 and 7? na may common dito sa dalawa sa multiples ng 5 and 7 so ang common multiple is 35 so the answer is 35 what is the multiple of 6 but not of 9 and 12 greater than 30 but less than 57 so ang unang unang natin gagawin dito ay ililist down natin lahat ng multiples ng 6 ng 9 at 12. So, let's start. For the multiples of 6, we have the following sets of multiples from 6 to 60. Sa multiples of 9 naman, meron tayong from 9 to 90. Multiples of 12, so we have 12 up to 120. Sabi sa problem, We are required to find the multiple of 6 but not of 9 and 12 greater than 30 but less than 57. So ang gagawin natin muna dito ay hanapin natin yung uh, number greater than 30 but less than 57 sa bawat multiples. 
So, multiples of 6, ano yung number na greater than 30 but less than 57? So, greater than 30, 36 up to less than 57. So, we have 36 up to 54. For multiples of 9, ano yung number na greater than 30 but less than 57? So, 36, 45, and 54. And for the multiples of 12, an yung number greater than 30 but less than 57. So we have 36 and 48. Ano bang hinahanap sa problem? Ang hinahanap sa problem yung multiple ng 6 pero hindi multiple ng 9 at hindi rin multiple ng 12. Okay? So ano na yun? So... So, for the numbers greater than 30 but less than 57 sa bawat multiples ng 6, 9, and 36, ito yung number 42 ang multiples ng 6 na wala sa multiples ng 9 at wala sa multiples ng 12. So, ang answer ay 42.